so the first topic of the day for my vlog or whatever is uh i want to talk about what's the best thing best best stuff to use the best the things that i use on the field the best things to use to make sure that you get the best peak performance your light on the field you feel light and shoot get drippy everybody nowadays want to get drippy so i'm gonna show y'all what i use to get drippy i really don't do too much i just get some little sleek drip but i'm gonna show y'all what i wear and maybe give y'all a few ideas of what y'all can buy to get drippy on the field this goes from pro style all the way down to little league so let's get into it so check it the first the first necessity on the football field is toothpaste and toothbrush because some of the people that be that i'll be playing against be having that nasty breath <laughs> nah i'm just playing with y'all so look the first thing that y'all gonna want to go get or buy is a helmet and shoulder pads so back plate on there is only for certain positions like alignment. Alignment really doesn't need a back plate, but skill positions, quarterbacks, rear protector, running backs, all that, they need a back plate because people are going to be hitting them from everywhere. Back, front, side. All that. So they're going to need a back plate. Helmet, you should already know, but nowadays, it, with all the CTE and everything that's going on. Josh Tupu. And, uh-oh. You got to make sure that you got a good helmet. My helmet's precision fit. It costs around $2,000. Uh, my dad really cares about what's going on in my brain throughout my career. So, helmet and shoulder pads, the first thing you need. The next necessity... It's probably a good girdle. You have to make sure you have a good girdle because your knees and your calves, your thighs, everything below the waist is really the most important part of your body. You can't run without legs. Come on, now. Nah. You can't run without legs. So I'm going with the, uh, the Nike Pro joints. Nice, reliable padding. It's more pad under there. So, pretty good pad. But I've been using them for a while, so. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Yeah, we're not going to speak on that no more. And I forgot to mention, uh, unlike my Nikes, these are a different type of pair. It's, it's a lot of pad in there, but it's stiff, parents. If you're going to go buy your kid a uh, girdle, do not get the stiff pads or any real big pads. Just make sure that they protect because we like to... I don't know what that was. We like to uh have... You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We like to be able to be flexible on the field and more mobile. If we If we have less... We have less, less, less. That you, um, you had, you, you, you. Going on, less keeping us back. We can be more mobile, faster, and move our legs faster. So, that's, that's what I recommend when it comes to girdles. Next thing. The cleats. The cleats are probably the most reliable, non-reliable thing on the football field. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? You have to make sure you have at least two pairs because cleats tend to rip and tear. And you have to make sure you have another pair on standby to where you can, you know what I'm saying? That cleats torn off. You just got to make sure that you got an extra pair of cleats if you need to switch in between the game and in between halftime. Just in case you know. You know what I'm saying. I forgot to mention, playing on grass makes a huge factor. You don't want to be rocking low cleats on tall grass. You've got to make sure that you get some screw-on cleats if you're going to be playing in tall grass. I know some age groups you can't wear the screw-on cleats. 
that's different. You're just going to have to find some more. These are more of a longer type cleat. You're just going to have to find a longer cleat if you can't wear screw-ons. But screw-ons are probably the best move when it comes to tall grass. It gives you more traction in the mud and all the extra stuff that comes with non-artificial grass. For running backs, I would also recommend an extra pad. You probably could ask your, if you're in high school, ask your high school trainer for one of these. It's just extra protection. And it'll keep you from uh, getting stingers throughout the season. And you know everything that goes on when you go to lower the shoulder. <laughs> Whatever, so that's a, good, that's a good thing to use. And for what most of you pretty boys been waiting for. The drip section. That's what we're going to call it. The drip section. So let's start off with the undershirt. The undershirt, I, I preferably go with a little sleeveless undershirt because I get hot on the field. I play a lot in my games, mostly shoot almost every quarter, every play of the drive I'm playing. So I get real hot. I think there's there shouldn't be anything really on your arms unless it will be like turf tape or whatever i don't have turf tape with me right now but on the arms we just gonna go turf tape or if it gets cold outside sleeveless for the receipt or the sleeve long sleeve shirts for the receiver so i'm gonna save the gloves and stuff for last because you feel me everybody gonna know about the gloves that's not really drip that i can tell you but we're gonna go now with the socks the very long socks padded for me preferably we bought sports. They just started selling the padded ankle socks with the long, yeah, just like what Odell Beckham used to wear back in the day to get the nice scrunchy feeling. You mean by that? The nice scrunchy drip. So go with the We Ball padded socks. They're, they're probably the best in the game, and uh, that's that's really it for uh, down low, man. I've been forgetful a lot in this video. I forgot the one leg sleeve. I made a makeshift uh, Nike. I just found out has started to make these actually now. But the one leg sleeve is probably the hardest drip I wore this season. Hardest drip. I might put a couple pictures in here to show y'all. Mm-hmm. Don't tell me I ain't tell y'all. But it's the hardest drip. You got to go with the one leg sleeve at least one time. We don't use sweatbands no more. Sweatbands is out of style. We just going to go with the leg sleeve or we're going to go with the long socks. That's the drip. You feel me? Now back with my baby, my helmet. I don't got the visor on there right now. I need a new one. The Oakleys get scratched. All the visors get scratched so easily. It's like a one... One season type visor each year, $60 I waste, but it's for the drip, it's for the culture. So we're going to go with the helmet, the helmet bill for me is drip. I think I want to go with the 808. I'm not from the 808, but I think I want to go with the 808 face mask next year. It's just another bar right here. But right now it's preferably less bars as possible. So no bars mess with my vision or anything when I'm running through the holes. So that's my helmet build. And you gotta go with the simple lip guard. It's like eight dollars on Amazon. Go with the team color. That's yep. That's it. Last but not least, let's go with the gloves. This is gonna be short. I got gloves. Nice Michigan joints. We can't show them for too long because of stuff that goes on. Michigan's probably the only school that allows people to buy their their football type stuff like cleats and stuff so that's the reason why none of it's uh illegal but everything else is illegal really for me to show y'all because confidential but yeah i got some nice gloves to choose from it's just whatever your school color is sometimes you might want to throw it off like neon color i got some neon cleats i throw the the neon orange gloves on with it or whatever but that's how you do it with the gloves, man. That's the drip. That's the drippy way. And that is the end of the video. Thank y'all for watching. If uh, you are new, please make sure you subscribe, like, and turn on the post notifications so you know when I post. You feel me? Just, I would appreciate the support. I'm trying to grow my channel before I go off to college or whatever so I can grow my brand. <laughs>